Ladies and gentlemen. Wow, the frame rate went terrible. Should be a passing thing. So, we just completed the Inos ending, and now we're going to attempt the Beliar ending. Where things are going to get, in my opinion, a little bit more interesting, and perhaps even complicated. Alright, so here's a shrine to Beliar himself. He does also have a statue, but strangely... Actually, it is... You know, now that I look more closely, it is actually a representation of the, um... The relief on this shrine, and the common shrines. Just, uh, in a more three-dimensional appearance. But it's just... I'm not really sure what to make of it. It appears to be... Like a human form in a hood. I mean, not in a hood, in a cloak. But he doesn't seem to have hands, unless his hands are supposed to be buried. But it looks like they just kind of are sheared off right at the wrist. And he has no head either. It almost looks like it's intentionally defaced in a way. But at the same time, there's the uh, visage of the sleeper right above it. And some kind of halo. And I'm not really sure what the halo is supposed to represent. Since uh, this is any, you know, far from holy. But the visage of the sleeper is just, it's sort of, since it is the uh, representation, the uh, sort of emblem of Beliar, I think what that's meant to imply is that the sleeper was actually created. The demon, the sleeper, was created in the image of Beliar. So, that's just the impression I get. Now it's time to swear an oath. Beliar, I have come to fight for you. I shall help you obtain dominion over the world. Learn my will. The orcs have betrayed me. They no longer follow my call. I want them to pay for this. Every single one of their chieftains must pay to win this war. The power of Enos must be erased from the face of the world. Kill his servant. Kill the king. Zubin has served me long enough. His rule must now end. Zardus has cheated me of a part of my power. It is time that he lose it again. I shall now give you power. Soon you will rule the world in my name. And more knowledge. Now, someone clarified that I got the uh, flame sword by uh, through the Shrine of Inos after I swore to him, which is why I don't have it now. But, um... Ooh. This... I believe this would be more than worth it, but unfortunately we have to find someone to teach us the Dark Mage ability. Which is this? Teach me the highest knowledge of the Black Mages. With this knowledge, all of Beliar's spells will be more powerful than ever. You word them in the name of Beliar, and you are a symbol of his power yourself. Sweet. Now we can wear this, which is actually a pretty bitchin' row, to be honest. Looks better... By contrast, in the uh, in the um, ha the fire robe that we got from Inos did, and a hell of a lot cooler than this guy's robe, in my opinion. So yeah, now we have that, and I have to re-equip some uh, artifacts, unfortunately. Still not wearing helmets, although these might actually look cooler. You know what? Fuck it. We're we're playing the demon man now. Men will fear me. Gods will fear me. Alright, so let's make a uh specific say for this path just so I don't lose it. Just want to be safe. Alright, alright. So like I said, this gets complicated because we have to kill so many people that, uh, you know, they're technically of allegiance to the Beliar faction. 
But the problem is, uh, you know, Beliar thinks that they have wavered in their faith and their service, so he wants them all dead. And there's no way that we can kill any of them without taking over, or without starting a liberation. Zubin, we might be able to do that, but I think that fighting with him is going to start a revolution in Ishtar. But uh, we can attempt it and see if that's really true. If it turns out it is... If it turns out we cannot start... If it turns out we cannot kill Zubin without um, causing a revolution in the city... What the hell? Well, that's interesting. I never saw this guy before. He's got dual ice blades. I almost wonder if... I definitely didn't see these guys last time. What the hell are you doing? I almost wonder if these guys were placed here as a result of uh, siding with Beliar. You know, it, it makes me think that maybe Zubin kind of got a bad feeling that uh, his life might be in danger, so he uh, issued these bodyguards to himself. So let's see what happens. Lo, the man from the north has returned. What news do you bring me? Beliar spoke to me. Yes. He said your time is over. You're about to die. Ah, uh, they're not helping right now, and he hurts so much. Do so I have to get used to the idea that I cannot spam the uh, cast, the uh, left click? when trying to cast spells. Wow! They actually didn't fight me. Sweet! Alright, so that's good. Now I am your leader. No, I should have done this as my thumbnail. Too late now. Alright, so that works. Now, even more difficult than Zubin is going to be Zardas. With Zardas, we have to be careful. You know, we do have this, which might... might help us in that regard. But basically, Zardas is much more powerful than Zubin, in my opinion. Um, which is compounded by the fact that he uses magic, where Zubin does not. So he can be... We can't really cheese him as effectively as we did with Zubin. And on top of that, if he gets the opportunity, he will summon an army of darkness. Which, uh can mess with my vibe a little too much. Alright, now let's see what comes of this. You have decided in favor of Beliar. I admit, I never expected that. But you have decided. So it must be. We all have our reasons. And now you are here because you must bear the consequences of your decision. Beliar is waiting for you. Perhaps I underestimated the enticements of power and wealth. I will not make it easy for you. Believe me. I'm gonna let you have it! Oh, no, you don't. No! Oh. Yeah, he's determined to summon the Army of Darkness, which is working to my credit, since uh, it takes so long to cast. So if he was not... If his AI was not so determined to cast that spell, we wouldn't really have a problem. If you tried to take him in melee, though, I think he would resort... Where the hell did he go? I just shot him through the wall. Did I? I can't tell. I'm trying to clip 
clip the camera through the wall to see where he went. I almost think his body just disappeared. I can't see. Bugger. I wanted his stuff. Let's see if I can do that without making him vanish. Perhaps I, I will. I'm gonna let you have it. No. No. Kept him in bounds this time. Now this is Zardas's diary, and this is Zardas's staff. I think this staff is actually a reward, or one of the um, one of the we weapons you can acquire in the uh, later old chests. So, but uh, it's not really all that useful since it's. Purely a melee weapon. Actually, no, it isn't. I mean, it doesn't offer any perks to uh, being a ma God damn it, to being a mage. It just it can do the you know magic block attack, and that's it. Plus, it looks pretty cool. But apart from that, it's only useful as a melee weapon. Oh yeah, and we got the uh, Eternal Wanderer Staff, which again, a lot like the Scepter of Varent. It's got this glowy effect, even though it's completely useless as far as even being a uh, magic staff. But in contrast to the Scepter of Varent, which I think looks more like it was inspired by Saruman's staff from Lord of the Rings... This one looks a lot more inspired by Gandalf the Greys. So, Zardas is dead, and he turned out to be a lot easier than I anticipated, thanks to his uh, fairly, fairly single-minded AI. Now, another thing we can do... In fact, let's go to Bakaresh to uh, take care of something that I want to make sure I don't forget to do. Because I suddenly, like, remembered a little while ago. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. Brought Eusebio the secretion and brewed two potions out of it. Second color secretion is of great value. Okay, cool. I serve Beliar and am a Heshishin. We are brothers in spirit, are we not? Welcome, brother of true faith. You have a strong belief and a strong arm. Don't run around with a butter knife. Go to Ishtar. There into the arena and give the right person this bag full of gold. Launch aid? What is your advantage if I get the sword except a hole in your pocket? It's a small world, friend of short sight. You will meet over and over again. So I suspect that this quest, what he's implying is that... You know, once I get my reward out of this, he's kind of going to call upon me for a favor or something. I want to make sure I take care of this. I just don't know if this is going to be one of those where the quest will only trigger after a certain amount of time. Now, he said I have to go to the arena. So I think I have to give this to you now. Probably to Sven. Since it seemed to imply that I'm going to get a sword. Come from distant Bakaresh. Jewel of the Eastern Coast. What can I do for you? I'm interested in a katana. By the way, best greetings of Ashnu. Ah, oh, 5,000? Oh, come on. That is bullshit. Well, I got another katana out of all that. For what it's not worth. Well, uh, let's see if Ashnu has anything new. Interestingly, about the um, the soundtrack in Ishtar, beyond an obvious like Arabic influence, it almost sounds like there's a certain 
like almost Celtic influence to it as well with the uh, tin whistle that they're using or whatever instrument that is. Some kind of flutish thing. Uh, well, Ashton doesn't have anything. Alright, well, I guess there isn't anything more. I'll assume that there is no... You know, I have to make sure I turn this off. keep forgetting to deactivate that in the config file. Now, so we've taken out the two... Um, we've taken out Zubin and Zardas. We now have to take out Robar. And since we set that up for Lee... We might as well bring him along. Now this is where it gets complicated. If I get too close to Robar in this, he's going to pretty much attack me outright. And unfortunately, since we don't have the teleporter stone to the temple anymore, I have no choice but to go to the throne room. Alright, yeah, we're far enough away. I just, I often forget where exactly that stone puts us. Wow, the frame rate is dreadful here. Now, for the purposes... Wait, you know what? I totally lost my train of thought there. <laughs> I apologize for that. Alright, so we gotta pick up Lee. There you are. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go and kill the king. <laughs> go to the king as a mercenary? What does that mean? That's interesting. Oh, well, I'm gonna have to figure out what that is after this. After all this. Come good. Now it's interesting to note that even though we talked about killing the king right in front of this guy, he doesn't care. So, what might make this tricky is that I think Lee is immediately going to attack the king as soon as we walk in there. So we won't get Robar's dialogue as a result of us being... Oh, come on, come on, Lee. What the fuck are you doing? Are you fuck? Come on. Jesus, shit. So, I mean, talking to Robar is going to complicate matters anyway. The interesting thing about this is the quest... Uh, Lee's... The way Lee responds to the king's death is very peculiar and I think he only has one dialogue if he's the one who deals the killing blow to the king I'm not sure because I've never actually allowed him to be the one to actually deal the killing blow because he's probably going to get distracted by all the other fighters as well which means he's going to make things difficult and possibly get himself killed but if you are the one who kills the king, Lee bemoans that he was denied his vengeance, given that he was unable to kill the king with his own hands, but then immediately is just straight up satisfied that the king's dead. So he's a little bipolar about it. All right, so we'll see what comes of this. Once we step in the throne room, Lee's gonna have a word.
There he is, swine. Let's get him. I'll tear you apart. Yep, see, it just immediately started the, uh, liberation. Stop right. Shit bugger. Alright, so before we do that, I do want to see what the king has to say. Where is it? Wait here. All right, then I'll stay here. You know what? Let's just see really quick what the uh, what the mercenary option is. Oh, okay. So I guess we just pick up armor. That's actually pretty good. Although for some reason Lee's still wearing it. So that's no big deal. At any rate, you have the courage to face me. And do you have anything else to say? I'll offer you a deal. Do you perhaps wish to beg for your life? Give me the scepter, and I'll grant you a Oh, I already death. have it. You madman. You will never leave this place alive. Let's get it over with. I'm gonna let you have it. Now is Lee joining the fight? <laughs> no, absolutely not. Just you wait for <sighs> oh crap, I'm dying very fast. Alright, so that's not the, not the ideal way to do it. So it's interesting that um, the hero demanded that the king give him the scepter and said he would uh, get away with his life, which I th it doesn't work out that way because we actually got the scepter. Uh, Robar straight up gave it to us. I just don't think Bronobites really account accounted for that in their um, design and story writing. So it's kind of worked out funny because we have to kill the king. Uh, Beliar demands it, and so uh, the scepter is almost irrelevant, but I think what that is, is it was kind of an oversight, like a programming error, where it was triggering the dialogue for the, um, for the Zardas ending, where we need the, we need the staff and the scepter, but the, uh, Two particular leaders don't necessarily need to die, although I do. I think they do. I think we need to kill them, just because we have to take out the. Um, we have to. Be, we have to take out the. What do you call them? Essentially, the avatars of their respective, of the respective gods, in order to ensure that the gods have a vastly reduced influence in this world, and. Uh, you know, Adenos is able to maintain order and balance as a result. So I do think he needs to die anyway, but we'll see if he doesn't. Because if he doesn't need to die for the Zardas ending, then we already have the staff, so we don't need to kill him for it anymore. Alright, Lee, let's go. Come with me. Here we go then. I have a plan. I'm going to try and find a choke point. Lee can probably hold his own for a while here, but I'm going to find a choke point in the uh, tower there, where I can hopefully hold off everybody who uh, comes charging up. So, let's wing it. There he is, swine. Let's get him. I'll show you. You do that. I'm going up here. Alright, well, they're all attacking Lee. Oh, no, they're not. Absolutely, they're not. And kablooey. Wow, it didn't even hurt the guy I was targeting. Oh, crap. Again? Oh my god, this is the, not the time for this glitch. Alright, well, fuck it, I'm not using that spell then. It's only gonna cause me trouble. Wow, he's shooting backwards. Wow, Crypto's kinda. weak. 
for the highest fire mage. It's almost ironic that the um, the fireball spell is such a common, commonly used spell, even by water mages and black mages. Given that it's supposed to be fire is supposed to be the power of Enos. Oh, I think. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, Lee's actually getting his ass kicked. Hit the bastard. Oh, lordy. Oh, shorty. Oh, Jesus. The wrong way to go. Hit the bastard. Why do you keep doing that? God damn it. The targeting is just awful. This is why this... This is why this game needed a, uh... Like a free aiming for uh, spells like Risen had. Enforcer of Belia. Can't do shit, motherfucker. Oh! Oh, lordy. Van Dorn. No, I. Lee needs to kill the king. That's how this works. Vengeance must be his. Oh, Lee killed somebody. Back. False king. Damn it. Damn it all. Damn it all. Holy smokes. Coming here was a terrible... Oh my god, I'm getting raped. Coming here was a terrible idea. It's getting on the walls. Something more defensible. The arrows keep flying, unfortunately. Thankfully, those guys are pretty meager. Well, Lee just killed a woman. Back, you fool. Wow, that fire mage is determined. Hit the the mage! Good lord, they just don't stop. I hope Lee's holding up. He might need a heal. The king's still determined to get me. Lee, the king is in your grasp. Come on, hit the bitch. Should check and make sure Lee's not gonna die. Oh shit, he is. Oh my god, the king almost killed me. Ooh, that was timed so perfectly. I heard more blades drawn. Oh no, you won't. Oh, Abe, you prick. Again, Lee's got to do the killing blow just to be sure that vengeance is his. Ah, shit. Come on, Lee, you got this. You got this. I'll be your moral support. Come on, Lee, be a man. Oh, well, there's Cobrin. Poor fucker. Ah, shit, I think it's glitched again. No. 
Like, yes. Nice work, Lee. Ah. Liberate. The castle has fallen. And that's that. Robar is dead. So my revenge is now complete. What are you going to do next? I don't know yet. I will stay here for now. I like how he just doesn't give a shit that we straight up murdered everybody here. You know, innocent people. Uh, loyal soldiers. You know, nobody who actually had a hand in, uh, you know, Lee's incarceration in the colony, apart from the king himself. And, uh, he just doesn't give a shit. Oh, George. Now, where did the king go? Or did he glitch out too? Oh, no. <laughs> Damn, that was badass. Lee just knocked him right out the window. And here's the crown of Mertana, which for some reason the king himself does not wear. But to our advantage, it is also not worn. Doesn't look any different than the other uh, crowns, so there's nothing... I mean, it does have a unique texture, which is kind of cool looking, but apart from that... Also seems to have a... Uh, What is it? Nah, never mind. Let's put the uh, demon helmet back on. Alright, so... This is done. Now we do need to kill all the orc leaders, including... Khan. But, none of them... Oh, we got our... That bastard! He was taking all this meat and bread for the people here, but he just kept it for himself. That sick fuck. Alright, so yeah, we do need to uh, deal with... Actually, we have a lot to do for the Beliar ending. Uh, we need to take out all the Water Mages. So, I guess a we'll do that first, then we'll do the um, Orc stuff. Because we can still work for the Orcs up until the moment that we need to kill them. Now, of course, killing them is going to cause a liberation sequence in each of their cities, which I don't really care to do at this point. First of all, it doesn't make sense, because then the rebels are just going to occupy the cities again, and Mortana is going to belong to champions of Inos once more. <laughs>